Ta-da! Let's get a closer look. So, this is my vanity. <laughs> I don't know if you can call it vanity. There's no mirror. Instead, there's just a wall of pictures. Or we can start here. <laughs> Hi, everyone. That picture, these, all these little pictures like that, they're collages I made out of um, famous artwork. Let me unplug. Using my family. So, I put my father in the Last Supper. And I put my sister in Meeting with Saints. I put my other sister in with the younger sister. Uh, something about Madonna. I think it was just called Madonna or something like that. And I put me in the connoisseur. <laughs> and that is Jung Hyun. And if you don't know who he is, he is a singer that has passed. But um, before that, he was part of a group and he was also a solo singer. And he was one of my favorites. And he had a radio show called Blue Night, I think it was called. And I used to listen to it. And one night, Maxwell was on there. And I actually, somebody ripped it and put it on Tumblr and I saved that because it was a meeting of my two favorite people in the world. This is the first self-portrait I've ever had made and it was done by that sister there. <laughs> and honestly, you can think of these two sisters as the official sponsors of this channel. <laughs> so then she drew this. This is a sitting down girl in a puffy dress. And she said she based the face off of me. <laughs> I thought she was so cute holding her little face with her big bow. So I took it, even though she said it's not finished. Anyway, enough about that. So now we'll actually get into the probably the reason why you're here. Not probably, it is the reason why you're here. So this tiny section right here, not that, but this, starting from that little thing over, these are the things that I use right before I go to work. So usually I take this with me, this Fenty Gloss Balm and Fussy, this Clarify uh, Vitamin A Witch Hazel Face Mist. You've seen me use this before. This is actually a new product, but you'll see us. I use it probably, mm, not probably, pretty much daily. Uh, so this is a Room Mist. It's rose water mixed with Florida water. I just put it in a little thing. My sister actually gave me this. It was in a package she got for uh, mental stress and relaxation. It was my older sister. So she got two packages for me and my younger sister and inside it was just rose water and so as the rose water was going down I mixed it with a little bit of Florida water and now I use it like a room and sheets and um, deodorizer. I spray that like just before I leave just because I want to come back and it's nice. This is my deodorant, Men Degree uh, there's no particular reason why I, ew, it's a little dirty. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> men degree. There's no particular reason why I use men's deodorant except I like the smell and I feel like it lasts longer and it's got more power. Um, so I use men's degree. It's also cheaper. This is a hand sanitizer, or at least it used to be, as you can see, I need to throw this out because I actually guess that was, that's why it was so hard for me to get anything out of it the other day. But I take this with me because of the nature of my job. It's got my little, my school on it. My sister got it from an event, a health event she did up there. This is some biotin. I just put one under my tongue and leave. And this is argon oil because I have braids in my hair, as you all know. And I just put this on my scalp and on the ends of the braid twists or whatever first. So let me tell you, I was watching a bunch of vanity tours and this one girl, her name is Rose Ha, she had recommendations from each of the sections that she was doing, like the things that she recommend if you had to just get one or two things. And so I'm going to do that as well because I thought that was really neat and really helpful because people might see a lot of things and get overwhelmed. I don't have the most things, but it'd still be nice to show you my favorite thing out of each section. So it's not so much a recommendation in my case. I'll be giving you my absolute can't live without out of that section. So in this section, it's actually mm, three things. Three things out of this to-go section. And it's going to be this Clarify, this Men's Degree, and this Fussy lip balm so this is just my most worn jewelry I keep it all in the same place that's a picture my sister drew I thought she was kind of ornate so I put her here with the jewelry that's a tiny picture of Gucci Mane <laughs> so this section right here is my frequently recently used skincare stuff 
all except this. This is the only thing in this section that I haven't opened yet, but I left it here because I think of it as a set <laughs> with this thing, which I use kind of frequently but during the spring and then into the summer because it was so light. So I like using it a lot, but these are actually going to have to get moved out of here because right now that took its place is these Frutias. My neighbors are playing music, so if you hear random music. So yeah, this is Frutia, whatever. It's white grape. And I don't know if I've talked about it before, but it's really nice. Then there's this aloe vera 90% toner, which I've been using a lot, especially when I come back inside because of me having to travel through the elements. It really soothes the skin. It's Nature Republic. I just opened a new Yardley soap. This one's oatmeal and almond. I love this soap because it's very gentle on the skin. I feel like it's made especially for sensitive skin and my mother used to buy this all the time when we were like little children. So when I found it again, it was like in the giant. It's not like I had to go searching deep, but anyway, I bought a bunch of them and so this one I just opened. These are some random sample packs, so you know, I'm not going to go into that. And this is another thing I use a lot because I feel like it's really good in detoxifying. So this is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Detox. My older sister got this for me for my birthday. Well, I love it. Like, when you first use it, first it comes out clear. And I knew that wasn't right because I guess, I don't know, you have to mix it up somehow because it comes out really thick, but it heats up on the face until it becomes kind of syrupy kind of drippy so but I love the way it leaves my skin afterwards the other thing I'm using a lot is the vanilla body coffee scrub and this <laughs> this is the best thing in the world for my lips and especially just especially just because I don't know my lips get dry easily and I don't know this seems to be the only thing that helps I also use it on my underarms so, you know, doing a body scrub in different uh, joint parts is kind of cool. So, if I had to pick two things out of this section that I couldn't live without. Oh, I forgot this. This is Up All Night Mattifying Spray by Coop and Daisy. And it's a really good setting spray, but I don't think it mattifies a thing. But it sets it nicely, so that's fine. So, my favorite things out of all of this stuff. This volcanic clay. Let me show you what I mean. So there's the volcanic clay and that's what I was talking about. It's actually very thick when you spread it on. But once it comes in contact with your face, it heats up. It kind of goes on feeling like a wax. And then you just rinse it off after you're done. If I'm going for right now, just right now, in this very moment, the things I have fallen into. Okay, it would be these three as a set. So it's the... Green, green Grape Pore Control Serum, Pore Control Toner, and Pore Control Cream. I'm really in love with them. This is the Pore Control Cream. It feels like a water gel with a bit more to it. Like it's the lightest thing in the world, but using it as a skin prep was really, I loved it. Obviously oil free, which is the kind of uh, skin creams I like in the summertime. Um, this is the this is the serum. This also is the same. It's got a bit more. It's just it's a, if you've never tried a serum, I would say give it a try. It's got a very mm, gel-like consistency. Like a light gel, like if you had a light holding gel, it's got that kind of consistency. And it just provides more moisture. And last but not least is the toner. Well, and then it's just, it comes out in drops. Okay. So, yeah, it's like a, all three of those things, they leave such a subtle moisturized finish. So if you, di if you don't like looking like, kind of shiny or anything like that. Here's let's show you the difference, huh? 
this is the unfruitier hand this is the non fruitier hand this is the fruitier hand it even kind of amps up the color see that it's cute right if you take my fruitier set as one set that's one of the things so that's one two and probably three because my skin is so sensitive and this is the other one that I really liked I covered it with a little cotton pad just because I feel like it could get some dust we'll move to the other hand and do let me just show you the cotton so as you can see it's got the consistency of I hope it's focused excuse me it's got the consistency of mm, what would you call that a very lightweight cream it's like when it said cotton it really means it after you work it into the skin a little it doesn't leave a bit of shine but it does feel like the moisture is really in your skin it leaves your skin one feeling very very soft but it does not leave your skin shiny it kind of moves into the sateen kind of finish so those are my favorites in this section or can't live without in this section this are like two little cups I got at the dollar store so I got them at Dollar Tree that's pretty much it this is where I keep brushes and this is where I keep tall and li like liquid lipsticks and liners because they don't stand up too well my brushes aren't organized in any kind of way they're literally just put in here that's it these aren't all of them but the biggest thing I look for in brushes is how soft they are. It would be these four. I feel like I can achieve anything that I want with these four brushes. So then over here you have a crying girl that my sister watercolored actually and I really liked her. She actually just goes in front of some of my backups like things that I get duplicates of so you see that clarified back there that's an argon hair thing for when I um, take my braids out and stuff and then there's a facial scrub by Beauty 360 and then the other men's debris and then she just sits in front of them come on stop getting on my nerves and then there's some perfumes that I just spray my room with sometimes but not really that was just some perfume I got at Gusini that random clothing store and this is one of my mother's old perfumes that I just keep for posterity really is diamonds and emeralds I like the way it smells it's a very old school classic then there's some lotion here and then you get to oh Cantu which I really love for my hair when I, um, I'm washing it and stuff and then so there's the Innisfree nourishing cream with canola honey and then the elf night nourishing cream and then this wet and wild that I um, I wanted to use on my eyes but it burns it's almost empty actually pretty much empty There's a little bit left so we gonna use um, and then you have this colorful drawing that my sister did just like those ladies that mark the lipstick it's just a lot of color so it marks the skincare because it's you know making my skin beautiful and clean <laughs> so you have the 360 that I'm using currently and you saw the backup because this one's pretty much empty right now that's all air up there there's the self-heating clay mask that I got after I told you I fell into clay masks because of the one my sister got me it's pumpkin coconut extracts and then a peel off mask that's really good and then a brightening peel mask and then this little Ossetane pomelo radiance scrub this actually my sister got me when she was in Paris in the spring so it wasn't it didn't even launch because they had just launched over there in the store she asked them for their newest products and it just launched over there in the store and I think you can now get it here but yeah this is it this is the 2.5 ounce and I have not opened it because I'm treasuring it but I okay that's a lie I opened it <laughs> 
I opened it and then I re-taped it because I wanted to keep it for posterity. But I know things are meant to be used, but look at it. It's got this jam-like consistency and it's so pretty. It feels like it's going to be great to scrub your face with because it's the mildest kind of exfoliant. But for right now, I love it too much to use it right away. <laughs> And then we'll move on to brand new things. I usually keep my brand new things right on top of the desk regardless of what they are and in their boxes pretty much. This I'm going to use for traveling. It's just another sponge. I got it at TJ Masks. I got it at TJ Masks. <laughs> I got it at TJ Masks. Whatever. And then here's some black opal stuff. Let me talk to you about black opal real fast. I actually don't know when I'm going to post that video but I did a makeup video with this highlighter stick. It's called New Glow and it's the purest copper you've ever seen. So here we have the New Glow. Let's show it to you on this side of my arm, right? Look at that. It kind of just, it highlights your skin in a way without any other kind of additives. It rubs into your skin. It doesn't feel like anything. It kind of just rubs into the skin like a very finely milled powder and then it kind of gives you that subtle sheen and this is copper. It's called Nude Glow but I feel like it, if you're gonna give the Nude Glow a color name I would say it's coppery without Nude Glow with Nude Glow without Nude Glow with new glow. And then I also got this from Black Opal. It is Henny. Like the drink from their lip crayons. I also thought this was a really good nude color. See that? It also gives a it's it feels like mm, it feels like lip balm. It has the texture of a lip balm, like a standard lip balm, like ChapStick brand lip balm or something. That's what it feels like, and then that's the color. It's a deep mauve. This one's a bit metallic also. Then you have my newest to the foundation family. I told you I'm very into foundations these days. So this one is Carob C29. This is the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick. Let me just swatch it here. I won't be swatching all my foundations because I actually have a video about that. So there's Carob. It's got very much mm, just a skin-like finish. Let's try to cover some lipstick, huh? <laughs> Dun 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 So there you go. So that's Carob on my hand right there in this section here. There it is on top. Mm -hmm. Then you have some eyeshadow palettes. Well not one eyeshadow palette from them. They actually worked with an artist and that's the main reason why I bought this palette they worked with an artist to draw the covers the artist her name is Nicole Kobe and the proceeds of these palettes go to a literacy program I believe so I don't know if the art was inspired by the palette or the palette was inspired by the art <laughs> there it is and there it is okay so I'm not going to swatch these. I'm not going to swatch any eyeshadows because we'll be here all day. So moving on in new product land is this one, Cargo Cosmetics, that I also got on a whim at TJ Maxx. This is their Tokyo in Bloom, and I thought it was so cute. So this is a cream, and this is like a grayer taupe, like a paler gray taupe, and they're both matte. They're not shimmers. So when they're mattes like this, I've recently been using them as a waterline colors so you know how you can put white on the waterline and kind of open up the eye or make the eye brighter and I put shimmers on the eye line and all that stuff so I've experimented with putting these matte creams on the eye and I like the way they've come out so and they also said they organized it 
in quad sets so this is a quad this is a quad and this is a quad and I thought that was really thoughtful especially if you um feel m more inclined to get overwhelmed with bigger palettes like this you could think of it when they organize it in quads like that you could think of it that way and honestly okay if you look at this right like I said earlier sometimes things are broken up into a set of like quads or whatever these aren't but if you wanted to think about it in sets so that it felt less overwhelming you could kind of break it up into little triangles so for instance you could think of this as a set this triangle here then you could think of this triangle here as a set then you think of this triangle here as a set like the look at the corners or you could think of it like doop doop like catty corner so you take diagonals as a set so for instance it would be like these two or these two or these two and these two you know what I mean or and these two and these two this orange one stands alone but you can do whatever you want try to work your mind's eye around the palette don't be don't be intimidated it's just color so you have the Nubian 2 this one also you could think of in sets but you can go straight up and down with this palette in the set right or you can make quads out of it you can just say like that or like that like that's the set in trios or you can go by line in this one so you could go like that get creative with it and then here's the D2 that I was telling you it would look so good with that Sephora orange but it's not peach it's what's the color I'm looking like terracotta so pretty here's the the um, metallic one the metallic one's really pretty okay so this is my baby eye palette collection <laughs> so this is little black book beauty book edition warm edition this is elf this is old and I don't think they well they don't I, I haven't seen them making it anymore but it's one of the first things that I got specifically for this channel and that's really exciting for me to think about and remember so I keep it more for nostalgic purposes I haven't used it in a while but I used to use it quite a lot so I thought it was really cute there were just so many cute little browns and most of them were shimmers anyway so yeah then you have all of these singles here these two are by colored rain I use this one moments a lot I don't use this one a lot pumpkin pie given oops excuse me you're over here so these are really cute then I have this little tiny thing from essence is actually pretty wide it's probably the size if you're in North America and familiar with it the size of a half dollar and it was a dollar ninety-nine or something like that and it's just this really nice bronze it's just an eye pigment I don't know where to put it I don't have any room Woohoo! there it is so it's just a very good bronzy color and then we have a black radiance this little trio it's called cute <laughs> 8722 and it's just a trio of pinks this one's the only shimmer. These two are matte. I used this one as a blush back in the day. And this one too. Then you have these two palettes that I bought on a whim. They're by Novo. They're actually knockoffs really. They're not really by Novo, but Novo made the knockoff version from um, these characters. They're called line characters. You can actually find them on YouTube. They have little stories. They're so cute. So line, like L-I-N-E. I wasn't aware I was getting the knockoff. I just saw the little line characters and looked without really reading. And when I got them, I realized it said Novo and not Etude House. <laughs> and I wanted something small. I wanted more mini palettes. So this is the one with, with the bear. I believe his name is Brown, and that's that's Brown's palette. Uh, and then this is Con Connie, Connie or Connie. I don't really know how to pronounce. It's C O N Y, isn't it? But I say Connie. <laughs> so this is Connie's palette. A lot of pink, some pinky browns at the end there, and they're soft. The gel, the shimmers feel like 
They feel like gel. I don't know if that's on purpose or that's knockoff land. And then you have some OGs here. Some channel OGs. Let me move this over. Channel OGs. These are the people that also helped me start my channel, and I've been using them ever since. As you can see, sometimes I hit the pan, especially on that one. <laughs> this one as well. This was one of my favorites back in the day. So much so that I was using it, and it slipped out of my hand, and I broke it, and it shattered, and I pressed it back in there and continued to use it. So this was Element, Natural Nude, and Romantic Affair. You can see I don't really use these. I used this one and this one in a video for my Magic Girls for um, Atsuko. So if you guys haven't seen that there. So these are these guys that I will never give up. Not until I've panned them all and I love them. Then you have Makeup Revolution. This palette, this is the Neutrals 2 that I got last winter, I believe. I love how many pinks there are. I just think it's really pretty. Then you have the Nubian 3 Coral, which sits at the top of that stack because... <laughs> and again, like I was saying earlier, you can think of these in sets. So in this one, you can go straight across the lines, like that way, that way, that way. Or you can think of it in straight up and down, so maybe these, 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 or you can think of it in little squares, so maybe these, that, 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 I don't know, but think about it, break it up in your head, or you can just go, you can go here and here and here and here, you can go all over the place, but I'm just saying, if you're somebody who's really overwhelmed by lots of things, try to break it up in little sets in your head, and that might help, boom, 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 you can work with that, or you can work with these in the middle like that, those four, you know, and then these four, you know, stuff like that. And then you have the Anastasia subculture palette that was, apparently, I got it on sale for $15, but it's apparently a very divisive palette. I really want the Norvina, but I do have the subculture because I like the way it looked. And I don't mind what's going on here, but that might, might just be me. I've only used it once, and it was alright, so I don't really have a true opinion about this palette yet. But I think the colors are pretty. But I can I can see why people don't like it and I can also see why people do. So these are basically in chronological order order except for the ones that are in my bag, which I'll show you later. We have the warrior, just a bunch of nudes, a bunch of nudes and a couple beiges right here in this corner. Very pretty, very warm. Then you have the deuce. Very cotton candy, very cute. When I first saw it, I said, this is it. This is Delicate Dark Girl. <laughs> so then you have the Saharan 2 by Juvia's. Again, this kind of gives me, I don't know why, but I think of like Morocco when I see this. And I don't know, maybe it's just the general colors, like these little seaside blues on the ends here. And then this very corally color. And then these reddish brown neutrals at the bottom. I don't know, but I think it's really pretty. Then you have the Zulu, which is apparently their most sold palette. This is like the the number one palette. It's just very colorful, and I think maybe that's why, because it literally gives you every color you need <laughs> to create something, and most importantly, that brown there. So, then you have my tried and true, which I also put back in here to show you. <laughs> Because this is another thing that was in my purse. So this is the Saharan, which people either love or hate. It's like the color scheme. People either find the color scheme too blah or they find it too like, I can find these colors somewhere else. I think it's the best all-encompassing palette in the world. And maybe because it was my first Juvia's Place palette, my sister gifted it to me. And when I got it, I used to use it to do everything and so in my head it leaves those possibilities open if you probably already had a lot of other palettes and didn't have a go-to like this was my go-to so it was it's like my first palette of mid-range status the fact that I had all these colors was mind-blowing to me so I figured out how to use every last one of them in multiple ways and maybe that's because I didn't have 
many other options but the fact is because I didn't have the options at that time I made options out of these and since then I haven't been able to look at it the same so I still look at it as my go-to palette for everything and anything like I can I can do anything with this palette I feel so that's why it stays in my purse and that's why it's so beat up and that's why it's so worn <laughs> That was a long speech, huh? It's going to actually leave that out because it's going back in the purse. And then this is the blush palette. The Saharan Blush Volume 1. Yeah, and so then there's these wonderful blushes here. And then you have Pat McGrath. And this is Mothership Sublime. Womp. Another gift from one of my unofficial sponsors, my younger sister. And this right here. Again, another palette that's kind of all-encompassing. These two nudes are great, and then you have all these shimmers. Oh, they look so good. And I really like this for holiday, and maybe it's just because there's this little red and green here, but mostly because this sparkle is like second to none. <laughs> Ta-da, they're back in place. <laughs> yep. Yep. This is basically my filming back, so whatever video I have coming up next, I reach in here. My sister got me this pouch. It's very convenient. You just pull the little drawstrings. Blink. We're just gonna open this little mouth now. Let's get you in there. So these are the things that's in here. It's my new primer that I'm like really obsessed with right now. Black Radius True Complexion Skin Refining Primer. And then here are the two newest foundation slash concealers I was telling you about. 140 Juvia's Place I Am Magic. And then number six. Oh. Yeah, number six concealer. This is a skin matching concealer for me, not a highlighting concealer. And then I have the brushes I was telling you about are in here. My favorite at the moment mascaras is Maybelline Temptation. I've been hooked ever since I got it, or I tried it the first time. This is dark cocoa that I've been using on my eyebrows a lot, and then this is just regular black. This is Last Sensational Curvitude. This is also another thing I've been obsessed with using my eyebrows. This is Neutral Brown um, Brow Pencil by e.l.f. It's a, a wax crayon tip and then this little spoolie. We've got powder here because it's summertime. As you can see, I'm almost out. Panic. This is my freshly washed puff, so I have it wrapped in a tiny paper towel. This is where the brushes are supposed to be in my milk makeup bag. Here is Nika K Bold Eyeliner. And then more Juvia's Place palettes, two of them, two of the other ones. This one will go right before the, I mean, right after the Warrior. That's, this is uh, the last one in the chronology, and then this is the, after that. So this is an all matte palette that I'm in love with, for real. I keep mixing these two to put on the waterline, so that's why you see that looks like that there. So that I have, like, um... Like a sandy kind of brownish cream color on my waterline. It's nice. And then these two mattes I use a lot. And then this I was using to do <laughs> my eyebrows a couple times. I said I wouldn't turn it into Chad, but I might. Here's black to do whatever you want. Eyeliner, eyebrows, smoke out your eye, whatever. And then these three I use as blush a lot. But I also love using this color just on my eye. Just all over my eye. I don't know why, but I'm really attached to this color right here. <laughs> Zama. Okay. I love that this was an all matte palette, by the way. And then, here's Tribe. Oh, I was scared. I thought I didn't know the plastic. It's a beautiful green palette. Even this brown here has green undertone. This is a Shanti. It's almost like um, un unroasted coffee bean. I love the way that looks. And once again, if colors like this intimidate you, do what I was saying earlier and think of it in sets. In this one, you can do, you know, straight down, straight down, straight down. This one's a little more straightforward than the other one, so you can just do it in trio, right? Or you can play with it in a quad until you get comfortable, you know? Then I have the blush palette, the other blush palette, which is the Saharan Blush Volume 2. This, this B color, I love it. I swatch it because I love it so much. There it is. Isn't that pretty? Mmm. And then some e.l.f. spray, which is almost finished again. And that's it. 
Oh, and you can see that. Yeah. Cinch up the waist. Flap the velcro. Pick up the straps. And you're ready to go. So that's it. Okay. See you with my talking face in a little bit. <laughs>